All right, this is a guide on how to use Daisy, quote unquote, Daisy Launcher, uh, which is probably the best alternative for Daisy Commander, which is very messed up right now, which is probably why you're here. Uh, I definitely prefer it to the six launcher that is recommended on DaisyMod.com or whatever. Uh, to download it, simply go to the website. It'll be in the description. Click download. Uh, if you don't have the automatic permission, it's, you need to run as administrator. So just go to your downloads. If you get that error, run as administrator. Next, do everything it says. Uh, put it where you want it to put it, where you want to put it. Next, I'm going to create a desktop icon. Perfect. That was very quick. It doesn't take long at all to download. When you open it, it looks like this does have a lot of similarities to Daisy Commander, so if you're transitioning from that to this, whether it's temporary or permanent, uh, it shouldn't have, you shouldn't have any problems with it. First, I'd suggest taking a look at your mods to make sure you have everything downloaded that you need to. Uh, it should just if it's, if it's downloaded, it'll say verify, delete. If it's not, it should say download. It doesn't say if you have an old version, unfortunately. So... If, I mean, you like I've, I've downloaded DayZ before, obviously, but I don't have the newest version. So with this download, will really probably take only a couple of minutes, maybe 10 minutes, if it's that big. But yeah, just make sure all the necessary mods are there, because sometimes they don't transition well from DayZ. If you downloaded it from DayZ Commander and are now using it from this, it doesn't always transition well. So just make sure it's properly downloaded. Uh, this is what you're going to be using to find your servers most most of the time. Probably all the time, realistically. Uh, this is just to search the servers. By default, it'll search every server that exists. Uh, if you click the plus filters button here, you can pick what mod you're looking for. Probably the best thing about this Daisy launcher is that it's probably the easiest way to get on that Overbox server, which is probably the most popular server right now. Or mod for Daisy. If you go to Overwatch or Epoch, either one, it'll also include all of the Overpock servers. It'll say here what you need for it. Daisy Overpock, what, what, Daisy Overwatch, what, what. And then if you have a different map other than Chernerus, you'll need Panthera or Napf or Lingor, Namalsk, whatever. So it's actually, this is probably one of the easiest ways to keep, to play Overpock. So you may want to keep using this after Daisy Commander is all fixed up because it's so easy to join a server. Uh, I'll, I'll join this a random server right now. Just uh, this, is a, this is an Overbox server. I have all the stuff I need to play Overbox. So just click the play button. It'll automatically load up into that server. It doesn't take any longer than Daisy Commander. And there we go. Can join, connect, just can whatever. Works perfectly. It's it's pretty great. It's so easy to join overpox servers and find overpox servers, which is usually a bigger problem. But there are other ways to join servers. Uh, it, also, you can favorite servers by doing so, like that, and clicking this, and it'll bring you to the top. You can join, do it by players, do it by ping version just like daisy commander has all the toggleable stuff like that you can hide empty full offline which you would probably want to do maybe not full but uh this is the other way to do it if you launch it something like overpuck through here it'll bring you to arma 2 operation airhead like just the regular things have everything you need activated or deactivated and then when you go to multiplayer, it'll automatically find all the Overbox servers for you. And that's just regular Overbox. If, if you want Overbox Panther, you'll have to launch that one. Ignore that. Just an error. 
Now this is loading the whole um, operation in hood, so it does take a little bit longer. I'm going to cut until we get back to the main menu of ARM2. So here we go. All right, we're now here. You've seen this before. Uh, it, it literally only took like 20 seconds. I probably didn't even need to cut to load it to this. So you simply just go to multiplayer. Uh, make sure this the address is on internet. If it's on LAN, nothing will show up. You can filter. Like you've probably, you may have used this before if you're looking for wasteland servers or if you've done launch daisy through this, which you absolutely can. Uh, you absolutely do not need to have daisy checked. It'll automatically find them because you've specified what you're looking for. If you want a remote, you can manually search for a specific server. Like so, join it like that. That's actually not an epoch server, but that's not a problem. And yeah, the advanced section of Daisy Launcher really isn't that useful. It's kind of just to launch directly to a server if you have the IP import of it. But I don't really know a situation where you'd have the IP import and not the name, and you could just find it from the regular, the regular servers tab. But I will show you to do it. Uh, this server I have here is just a regular Overwatch server. So you just click on the mod that you that the server requires, whether it's Overwatch or just regular Daisy, and just throw it over here. Into the add, click the add, put it enabled. If it's Overpock, you need Overwatch Epoch, and also if you have another uh, map included like Lingua or Panthera, make sure it's over there. And my window's kind of small. There we go. Uh, and simply launch it. As long as the port's right and the server's right and you have the proper things enabled, it'll work fine. Uh, you don't need the colon for the port. You can't have the colon for the port. It's better off said. It launches pretty quickly, too. It's really not complicated, but it's more complicated than it needs to be. Just find the server in the server tab. And you can also add it to favorites, which is a lot more useful. And you can just find it over and over again. But if you join a server like from here, you won't be able to add it to your favorites. Where's the use in that, right? Boom. Oh, it's fine. Everything, everything's got the same result. There's just a lot of different three ways of getting there. Uh, they really are the only other thing to cover. There's nothing in the boat. Just gives you the website and how to get there. Gives you some information. Is the settings. If you put the downloads for your mods that you maybe maybe you did it during uh, with Daisy Commander, maybe you did it on the on a website just on the internet. If it's specified from a different place, then it should be like if your my mods are simply just an number two operation head from Steam. Here they all are, so it's in the right, correct location. If it's not in the right place. You need to path it properly, or it won't work. And it's it's pretty simple. It prob it should be right as long as you haven't done anything to change the location of where everything is. It should be fine. Another cool thing is you can actually verify if you ever ver verified the integrity of your game cache for Armor Two or Armor, Armor Two Operation Red, which you probably have if you've been playing a while. Uh, you can actually do it here. It works just as well. And it's kind of cool. I've never seen that before in a Daisy launcher. So, but that's about it. Uh, it really is. It's it's very good alternative for Daisy Commander. I think I will use Daisy Commander when it gets all fixed up again. But how easy it is to join an Overbox server with this is really tempting. So uh, we'll see. And that's just about it. Uh, if this helped you out, leave a like and a comment. Especially comment if this didn't help, if you have some questions or concerns or want some more information, leave a comment. I'll try to help you out, talk you through it, stuff like that. And that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye. Oh, there's a guy right there. That's a friend. Totally. You're getting worse at that, I'm getting better. Leave me alone. Okay, sorry. Dude! Oh, sorry! It's the same guy! <laughs> You were saying? <laughs> what? What was that?
That's a friendly t- <laughs> oh, God. Oh, seriously? I'm going to fucking lose my mind.